Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 seven customer support. Don't miss keys fan mega discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description, add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hey people, I'm back again with another new video. Today, we'll be testing out the Horizon Windows emulator on a low-end Android device, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G Adreno 619 GPU, with 6 gigs of RAM. This is also same for Snapdragon 695 or 4 Gen 1 or other chipsets with Adreno 619. But before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. Okay, now open Horizon emulator. First of all, make sure you update it all to latest drivers in this section. Now go to settings. X11 settings, set display resolution mode to exact. Set resolution to 800 and to 600 or even lower, but most of games require a minimum of 600p. Enable stretch to fit display. Leave the remaining settings as default. Now get back, go to environment settings, create new preset. Here, make sure to enable box 64 Dynarec. Set build block to value three. Also set Cal ret flags values to zero. Enable Mango HUD if you want frame counter. Set the position of HUD meter. Disable Mesa shader cache and also set max shader cache memory. So these are the main important settings. Now get back, here we are on the latest Wine 9.13 version. Create new container. Set environment preset as new preset we created. Set latest box 64 update. Set DXVK driver to 1.10.3 for most of the games. Select turnip driver to version nine, latest Vulcan driver. And these are normal. Okay, now save the settings. Now boot the emulator. For the first time, it takes time. You need to wait for one to two minutes based on your phone's performance. All right, so it's successfully booted. Now go to start. Default apps, go to wine configuration. Select Windows 7 version. Let's go to about, there we go. We are on the latest wine 9.13. Apply settings. Now go to the path where you copied game files. Also, it's important to install Microsoft Visual C++ library to avoid game crash or load issues. Okay, let's first test out with Sleeping Dogs. It's a bit intensive DirectX 11 title. Well, no, it's not starting guys. Let's move on to next one. It's NVIDIA G-Sync intensive demo, basically a benchmark test. Here I'm going to test a bit lot more intensive DirectX 12 title, Stray PC, set to the lowest possible settings. This time it looks quite better compared to the video I did months ago. No graphical issues this time. We are getting like 10 to 11 FPS. It's actually good. What do we expect from a low end? Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe to our channel for more useful stuff. Thank you, guys. Ta-da!